Hello my dear friends, I hope you are doing well. In this video I want to speak about a very important phrasal verb and that's go off. The phrasal verb go off has many different meanings and we need to use it in different situations. So in this lesson I'm going to speak about different usages and different meanings of this phrasal verb. So guys, stay tuned. Let's speak about the first meaning of go off. My dear friends, if a light or a machine goes off, it stops working. Yes, when we speak about a machine or a light, when it goes off, it stops working. For example, the lights went off in several neighborhoods because of the storm. So the lights stopped working. The damage of the fuse box cause the power to go off. The light goes off when the batteries are dead. When the batteries are not working, the light goes off. So the light stops working too. The game had to be abandoned when the light, when the floodlights went off. It's getting cold. The heater must have gone off. Yes, the, the heater must have gone off, which means the heater must have stopped working. The second meaning of the phrasal verb go off. Guys, if the bomb goes off, it explodes. Boom. Or if the gun goes off, it fires. For example, the bomb went off at noon, which means it exploded at noon at 12 o'clock. Or we can say his gun went off accidentally, which means his gun fired accidentally, which is a very dangerous activity. The explosives went off without any warning. So the explosive exploded without any warning. We must clear the area before the bomb goes off. Do not move until you hear the starting pistol go off. The third meaning of the phrasal verb go off. My dear friends, if the food or drink go off, it's not good to eat it anymore, it's not good to drink it anymore because it's too old. This bacon smells a little bit funny. Yes, do you think it has gone off? Put the milk back in the fridge or else it will go off. So it will not be good to drink or eat because it's too old and it can hurt your body and health. Cream will go off very quickly if it's not kept in the fridge. Food that is not stored correctly goes off more quickly. So guys, let's understand the other meaning of the phrasal verb go off. My dear friends, if the alarm, alarming device, if the alarming device goes off, it rings loudly and it makes a lot of noise. Okay, let me give you some examples. For example, the alarm should go off automatically as soon as the smoke is detected. So the alarm should ring loudly and make a lot of noise. Didn't you hear your alarm clock going off this morning? Hmm? His car alarm is always going off by mistake. Please take the chicken out of the oven when the timer goes off, when the timer starts to make a lot of noise. The fourth meaning of the phrasal verb, go off. Here, go off means to leave a place and go somewhere. Yes, to leave a place and go somewhere. For example, Sarah, my friend, she has gone off with Tony on vacation. Yes, she has gone off on vacation with Tony. My dear friends, if something happens in a particular way, we can use the phrasal verb go off. Yes, when we speak about something that happens in a spatial and particular way. For example, the protest march went off peacefully. So it happened in a particular way and that's very peaceful. And if something becomes worse in quality, we can also use the phrasal verb go off. Yes, 
if something happens and becomes worse in quality. For example, that paper has really gone off since they got that new editor. Yes, that paper has really gone off since they got that new editor. Okay, my dear friends, these are different meanings of the phrasal verb go off. Try to understand different meanings of this phrasal verb so you wouldn't get confused if you see this phrasal verb in different situations. So don't forget to subscribe and wait for the weekly English lessons. Have a great time.